The Dauntless Battleship is a capital ship class with a role as Brawler. They can be purchased by the Rebellion with Soros Hub Tech 2 for around 22,000 credits on planets from the Advanced Warship Dockyard. When deployed to the battlefield, the Dauntless Battleship has the following loadout taken word for word from the descriptions of Awakening of the Rebellion. They have slow charging anti turbo laser shields with a strength of 18,000. Anti turbo laser shields reduce the damage taken from turbo lasers with a larger reduction taken from heavier turbo lasers. Anti turbo laser shields take increased damage from laser cannons and lasers. They have a whole strength of 22,000 with heavy armor. Heavy armor protects against every weapon type except heavy turbo lasers and other heavy weapons. They take a lot of additional damage from anti-armor weapons, making it very vulnerable to proton torpedoes and composite beams. They have a speed of 175 with an average acceleration and an average turn. Their sensor range is 5000 with a max weapon range of 3250 and an ideal weapon range of 1500. Their weapon systems include the following. 6 4 burst dual close range heavy turbo lasers. Heavy turbo lasers have massive damage and range, but limited accuracy making it the weapon to shoot at capital ships. 4 4 burst dual close range heavy turbo ion cannons. Heavy turbo ion cannons are the heaviest anti shield weapon. They are very inaccurate against any target smaller than a capital ship. 5 2 burst dual medium turbo lasers. Medium turbo lasers do full damage against medium armor, but lose damage against heavy. They are most effective and accurate against cruisers and capital ships. 5 Heavy Laser Cannons Heavy laser cannons excel at taking out small ships like corvettes and frigates. The 5 medium turbo lasers and 5 heavy laser cannons are not targetable hardpoints and are only destroyed once the ship is. Dauntless battleships come with a missile jam ability that forces enemy rockets and missiles to miss. They have a hangar bay that holds 1 X-Wing flight with 2 in reserve and 1 Cutlass 9 flight with 2 in reserve. General Snub comes with a Dauntless Battleship titled Billerun. His prototype Dauntless has a slightly different hangar bay that holds one B-Wing flight with two in reserve rather than the Cutlass 9 flights. General Snub is an Admiral providing a 5% combat bonus for all ships. He can be obtained for free shortly after taking the planet Solist and can dominate early in campaigns if you keep him alive since he is a late tech ship gained virtually free if you can take a Fortress World only one planet away from Rebel Control Systems. With all that being said, the Dauntless Battleship is a brawling machine capable of quickly tearing down enemy shields and hulls with ease at close range. The weaknesses of this ship are its extremely rough tech requirements and very high price combined with a very low survivability due to very poor ranges. When it comes to the Dauntless Battleship, I almost feel that these are glass cannons meant to be sent in between enemy ships so that it can fire both broadsides, suck up as much damage and enemy fire, while the rest of your fleet is also glass cannon units causing massive damage in the background. On the surface level, it looks like the Dauntless Battleship would have a high survivability due to high quality armor and shielding, but the poor weapon ranges forces it to be in the midst of a lot of enemy fire. They absolutely can survive battles when engaging small or weak enemy fleets and can carry your fleets in those battles, but it's hard to keep them alive in huge battles as the gameplay semi represents. I truly do feel like the title Glass Cannon fits the Dauntless perfectly. Finally, as I mentioned in his section, you will get a free Dauntless Battleship after conquering Solist, so take advantage of that late tech unit. Keep it alive and maximize its insane firepower as it truly can carry some of your early battles.